Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here with our first reaction of the weekend. I hope you guys all had a great week. My week personally flew by and there are a lot of songs I'm excited for this weekend. We've got songs from Divide, Daddy Fat Snap, Schwabity, uh, Zach. I'm super ready for all these songs, but we're actually starting off with one I didn't expect. We're starting with Eddie Rath and he did a Muzan rap. Now, I don't think anybody has done a song about Muzan since I started reacting to Nerdcore, except for, obviously, the villain ciphers. But Muzan is so interesting. I love him as a villain, you know, and I love the memes of him, you know, the Demon King of Pop. And, you know, Eddie's good or great at telling a story, so, like, I want to see what he's going to do for this character. So let's just jump in. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, remember to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm still trying to get to 300, and I got a surprise for you guys when I get there. But let's jump into it. I love the way he puts his accent on that, on that stuff. Like... Like the way he says Shine Gun, the way he says Uchiha, and now the way he said Muzan's last name, it's just. I, I love Eddie's voice. Muzan, Kibutsuji. <laughs> A thousand years before the beginning of the samurai people's story. Before the invention of Demon Slayer's gonna be, gonna be sorry. Before his life would become a movie, both bloody and his gory. Diagnosed with a mysterious illness, killing him and killing him slowly. He finds a professional doctor who knew this is something that he could achieve. Use the mysterious blue spider later to try to treat the disease. And it isn't like the patient could not afford to pay all of the fees. He's simply a highly skilled medic who's qualified to provide for the needs. He's an egomaniac who has no time for progress that is decent. So we go maniac. Listen to the way he articulated that last set of bars. A highly skilled medic who's qualified to provide for the needs. He's an egomaniac who has no time for progress that is decent. So he kills the out of impatience for the process of the cutting edge treatment. Even though his body is in shambles, you can see that he really does need it. It is not that he wants to suffer, it's simply the perspective that he sees it. I'm the one that you just can't see. Bad to the bone, bad to the marrow. The progenitor I be. Welcome to the road, not narrow. Just run when you don't see me. Better aim more straight than an arrow. All my enemies will flee Darker than a moonlight shadow I'm the one that you just can't see Bad to the bone, bad to the marrow The progenitor I be Welcome to the road, not narrow Just run when you do see me Better aim more straight than an arrow All my enemies will flee Darker than a moonlight shadow Alright, so that's what I was talking about He tells a story Like We just got Muzan's entire backstory condensed into that one verse And honestly, the way he articulated it He... he said a lot every bar was long as shit and this beat that he picked for this i'm feeling it gains a new body that helps him become immortal only weakness is the sunlight so he has to dress in a way that's formal that's an unquenchable thirst for human flesh eating him like their morsels on a mission to gain the true perfection it's something that he wants even more so now he's feeling kind of stupid wishing that he didn't cut down the doctor with the treatment it started working but it straight turned him into a monster who's able to spawn demons just to add them to the unholy roster no way to perfect the medicine for the breath of the sun to be conquered and he never really wanted to create his demon followers like some children Just a byproduct of becoming an infectious psychopathic villain Put a See, curse like on that. them if they dare to snitch on him and they will straight kill them Demon followers look, look like some children this. Just a byproduct of becoming an infectious psychopathic villain Put a curse on them if they dare to snitch on him and they will straight kill them Dead men don't keep any secrets but live ones they are sure to spill them I'm the one that you just can't see. Bad to the bone, bad to the marrow. The progenitor I be. Welcome to the road, not narrow. Just run when you do see me. Better aim more straight than an arrow. All my enemies will flee. Darker than a moonlight shadow. I'm the one that you just can't see. Bad to the bone, bad to the marrow. The progenitor I be. Welcome to the road, not narrow. Just run when you do see me. Better aim more straight than an arrow. All my enemies will flee. Darker than a moonlight shadow. Ruzan Kibutsuji. 
Mozaki Putsuji Mozaki Putsuji Ugh. That door thing that gave me a hank the first time I watched it in the anime. You guys see what I'm talking about. Eddie can always tell a story no matter what character he picks, and he does it well. But honestly, bar for bar, line for line, that might be one of his best songs just because of how in-depth he went, not only into the character, but into every bar that he made. He didn't have to fit that much shit into each line. He could have definitely shown that up with different, uh, different lines for different meanings. Like... That psychopathic villain line, he could have easily made that something much simpler than trying to fit all those syllables into each bar. So, like, he put a lot of skill in, into that verse. And I really like the song. That might actually... No, I can't say that. Letters from the Sage is still my favorite. But that's definitely up there, one of my favorite Eddie Rath songs. And he was, like I said, he's the first person I've seen to do uh, a Muzan song. So, points for that, too. Now... I honestly don't know a whole lot about Muzan. I only know a little bit because I'm, I'm mostly an anime watcher. I've only seen the very end of the manga. So I know about how he became a demon. I didn't know, you know, the struggles he went through when he realized he couldn't be in the sun. So, hey, I learned something new today. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, remember, like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next reaction. Oh, almost forgot. If you want to watch that video, the original, without my pause and without my commentary, link to the original will be down below. Catch you guys later.